This episode of the podcast is brought to you by the Tattooed Traveler YouTube channel. Join award-winning TV host and travel expert Todd Newton as he takes you coast to coast and around the globe to destinations like Paris, Rome, Bangkok, Hollywood, Mexico, New York, and so many more. Experience all the world has to offer by visiting the tattooedtraveler.com or subscribe on YouTube at the Tattooed Traveler. Welcome to the host with the most Toddcast. Toddcast. And now, direct from the Razzle Dazzle Studios, here's the tan, tattooed connoisseur of conversation, Todd Newton. I thought Marie and I would pop on just for a quick little bonus episode of the Toddcast today. And uh, my wife is walking around here somewhere as well. I want to talk about being sleep divorced. Are we sleep divorced, my love? And we love it. We've never been happier, Maria. Carson Daly was talking about this on the Today Show. He and his wife are sleep divorced. You ever heard this term? Sleep divorced. No, I'm sorry. That's a new one on me. Sleep divorced. And I think my lovely bride and I are sleep divorced. Is it, is it okay to call us sleep divorced? I guess so. If we're both sleeping peacefully, we don't have to be right next to each other. Yeah, sleep divorce, Maria, is when a couple doesn't sleep in the same bed. And, it, it, and by calling it this... The stigma's gone, you know? I didn't know there was a stigma attached to that. All the old sitcoms had the people sleeping separately anyway. Yeah, Lucy and Ricky never slept in the same bed, you know? And yet they had little Ricky. They did come up with a baby somehow. But I just... So, so what, see? What Marky and I do is we lay in bed and we watch one of our shows. Mm-hmm. And then and then she steals my innocence. Oh. And then... <laughs> 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 Yeah, I was about to say that, you know, we lay in bed together until the second we're about to fall asleep. And it's not like, you know, we're spending all of our separate time. We lay there until we're closing our eyes and then we go, all right, yeah, bye. Well, I say bye. Yeah, you, you stay in the bye. bed. I go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, I stay up and I watch my Netflix. Yeah, yeah. she watches Stranger Things. And then I go, you know, I go sleep someplace else. And then we, because we just sleep differently, different I think. Hours. Different hours. All right, are you going to walk the dog? Okay. Yeah. Okay, give me a kiss then. There she goes. I love you, my bride. There she goes. See, we're sleep divorced. Yeah, we're sleep divorced, but we, you know, we're great. We're happy. But Carson, Carson Daly was saying that he and his wife have been sleep divorced for over two years and uh, they have four kids. So something's working, you know, it's they're meeting up in the bathroom or the kitchen or something. (laughs) But he sleeps on a couch or in a spare bedroom. That's what I do, too. And he says they've never been happier. And I got to tell you, Marky and I are the same way. We both I I wake up two hours earlier than she does. She stays up three hours later than I do. I think this might be the secret to if there is a single secret, like just one that's that's more important than other secrets. This one might be it. What do you think? I think I'm going to try it. Normally, <laughs> Al and I don't go to bed at the same time. I usually am up longer than he is, and mm-hmm. I get up in the middle of the night to do stuff. I'm just used to being up in the middle of the night. Right. But I lived by myself before, so nobody heard me. But now it's like you're tiptoeing around. But I'll go sit on the porch at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I bet that's nice, though. Isn't and just Because it? it's finally quiet. The phone isn't ringing. Nobody wants me to do anything. Mm-hmm. And I can just sit there and just think about the day and what I want to accomplish the next day. And sometimes I read our show notes. Mm-hmm. Anything can happen then. And then I'll come to bed after he's asleep because I'm a horrible snorer. Oh, so yeah. I figure if he's asleep first, he won't hear me snoring. Yeah. Well, when, when you know, because I was a bachelor for 15 years, used to sleeping alone. And then when Mark and I got together, it was it was nice at first. And then it's hard having another person in the bed. And it really took some getting used to. But this is the way to do it. And I think if people can get past thinking that this is a bad sign for the relationship, you'll actually realize that it's a very positive thing. So if you and your significant other are not locked to sleeping together, but you are locked to happiness, rest, and contentment, sleep divorce. Sleep divorce. Nothing to get worked up about. Just get your rest. You'll both be happier. All right. Thank you for joining us for this little bullet of an episode. We'll be back with a full length in 48 hours. Thank you for keeping the art of conversation alive. For more Todd, visit ToddNewtonOnline.com. And don't forget to rate and review the show today. The host with the most Toddcast is produced by the host with the most LLC. All rights reserved.